tell you what, that's a good way to start the episode. Um, you. I can't speak any other language. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we don't. Um, we don't do introductions here because yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Well, yeah. I'm still, I'm still freaking too drinking. I'm an alcoholic. No, on. you you do your own introduction. That's how it works. Oh, so okay. yeah, um, and it's an opportunity, literally, uh, to tell everyone who you are, okay. without us labeling you. Okay. Go. So, <laughs> so who is Danielle Weber? Hi, my name's Danielle, and I have two drinks in front of me, and it's not even five p.m. <laughs> Friday. This is actually yours as well. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't drink so. It's 3 p.m. on a Friday. It's still in work hours. Um, That's the way. Right, am I looking at cameras or I'm just talking to you guys? Whatever you feel wherever, like. Wherever, wherever, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get rid of this. Start looking at cameras and start staring at the margarita. <laughs> <laughs> like she's got the answer to that. There you go. That's a way to start the episode. Wow. Okay. Love now it. I don't, I that, look like less of tell you what, you don't need an introduction thing. after that. That's <laughs> it. This, that is it. Um, yeah, my name is Danielle Weber and I just sculled one margarita. I'm on to my second. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome. Salud. That's um, the way to start. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, little thank you for there. coming. Yeah. yeah, it's a pleasure. I've never here. been here, so I'm wearing You've been to margs, um, so Hotel Jesus? Nothing better. Well, I'm, we're drinking margs. I tell Too you heavy what. heavy for... Oh, uh, look, that's, this is honestly um, what this is about. You know, have a good time, have some drinks learn a little bit about you, what you do. I'll tell you, what, I'll, I, we don't normally do the introductions, but I, I'm going to... I can do it. I was just messing around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's not going to introduce herself. <laughs> no, so um, basically, I'm a Melbourne-based artist. She's like, I got the check mark. I don't yeah. need to introduce myself. I'm just like, I'm just... Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Um, I'm a Melbourne-based artist, and I've been on this journey for 12 years now, and I started... Um, more traditional on canvases and then I transitioned into murals, yeah. large scale murals, probably about seven or eight years ago now. And uh, recently I've um, dived headfirst into the NFT space and the Web3 space. And I got asked this morning if I'm doing managing all parts of my business. And yes, I'm still doing everything because I nice. think they'll all marry <laughs> oh, wow. well together. Okay. Um, and the trust that you've built in your, you know, Web2 brand, yeah. your community will, yeah. you know, eventually be able to give back to them as well. That's how we came across your your work. Yeah. Thanks to the NFT space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we were victims, so not victims, but we got on the wave at the start of the year, like everyone was on. No, no, we were victims. Well, you, yeah, 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 yeah. you have to be a victim if you, at some point, you it, have to be so, a victim. It was self-inflicted, like, does that count as being a victim? Like, Yes, 100%. I guess. If you're still in this space right now, you're a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have not met the si a single person who hasn't been scammed or has lost, lost money right. somehow. Yeah. True, or made like a mistake with tax or yeah, exactly. huge lessons with that sort of so I think everyone is. In my yeah. Everyone's a victim. Kind of <laughs> it's a choice at the end of the day. It so is. we won't have the victim mentality. And it's the best choice I've made. So yeah. We we actually went to that conference we were saying before, and that's the first time, you know, we saw you, you were at the panel actually, mm -hmm. which was super interesting because um we, we went to a conference really not knowing what to expect. And all of a sudden there were it was full room. It was a full room. Mm -hmm. And we're talking like you know, thousand? Few hundred, yeah, a thousand maybe a thousand people. people? Yeah, I would say yeah a thousand. at least I think. And, and, and Ollie and I kind of went there thinking, man, there's probably going to be like, like three a dudes. few, yeah, like <laughs> a bunch of guys, like yeah. you know, very male dominated, yeah, um, you know, very geeky, yeah, kind of crowd. That's that's yeah. what we thought. That's what got us excited, right? Because yeah. like, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but like, we yeah. we were so surprised by, yeah, like the crowd and and. You know, you went on stage um, and you were very knowledgeable about what was going on at the time. Um, but it sounded as well like everyone was kind of finding their way yeah. into this space. Yeah, or seeing where they would fit or how, like, they were, you know, perhaps interested, but wondering, like, what their path would look like. Because, yeah. you know, you've got your artists, you've got your creators um, that have perhaps even just started their, like, journey as a creator in this space. And then you've got your collectors and your traders and you've got your builders. So I think that that was really back then. Oh, yeah, they had the wristbands. Trying, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you and I were like, what are we? Like, we, we're not creating, we're not building. Oh, that is true. Yeah, we, yeah. Like, do we get mm -hmm. one of each and yeah. then see what yeah. sticks? It, yeah. was, it was interesting. Yeah. Um, How, yeah, the community was, no, it was a good community. It's a very mi interesting mix. I guess um, for you to be on that panel, 
we've, we've got a few things to talk about. I feel like we're jumping the gun going straight into the yeah. NFT. <laughs> that was but, my intro, though. I take blame. I take blame for that. <laughs> Maybe we can reverse <laughs> engineer it, you know? <laughs> Let's start from the now all the way to the back. But, like, yeah. um, how did you end up in that panel? So, I think I had connected with Theo, um, one of the organizers, mm. and I think we'd connected quite a quite a bit before that um, event actually eventuated and we'd spoken about some other project and then he's just like, keep this date free. And I was like, yes. And not even knowing what it would look like, right. um, I'd said, yeah, I'm, I'm there. And that's, that's been my like general mentality for this space is like, I'm just saying yes to everything and, yeah. you know, speaking at events and, mm. you know, I've, how many podcasts do you yeah. go to re- <laughs> like in, in recent times? Yes, I feel like I, every other one is like, here we go again. <laughs> no, I love it. I think, I think um, it never, it's never comfortable speaking about your journey. And the only way to really get comfortable is just to keep talking about it. Mm, and and yeah. it, I think that's that, that, that's like a part imposter syndrome, part like, do people actually want to hear what your journey is? But I think mm. when you start seeing that, the ripple effect and the impact that it has, it motivates you to do more. So I've done five this week. <laughs> this is my so fifth this podcast. Is your wow. Yeah. So you start on Monday. <laughs> yeah. And then one every day until five. Yeah. All right. You're wrapping up the week in style, huh? And with a mark, so like, <laughs> with a mark. Can you, it just tops it. Because like. nice. yeah. we, we had you for the start of the month, like August. Yeah. Like you were going to be the first one, actually. And you're like yeah. the second Shout last one now. I wasn't the first. I'm freaking yeah. coming in last now. <laughs> oh, I gave us a bit of time to practice as well, you yeah, know. Yeah, because like, it wouldn't be like so... You know, so, <laughs> probably the first guest. What are you doing like here? Yeah. Um, and then, and then you went away, and then we had to reschedule. But well, you finally here, which is awesome. Um, Thanks for your patience. Nah, it's not usually uh, like me to be like, oh, well, uh, change, and yeah. So, no, nah, that's all right. Um, no, you were, thank you. You were, you were doing the mural. Um, was it at the shop, the body shop? What, what's it called? The auto um, body. The auto. Yeah. So I think you were busy before on that one before going away. Right before I left. Can you describe the the process for that one and how did you like end up doing the roller? Do- <laughs> it was it the roller door? Oh, so no. So no, that, that was, was a different one. That was yeah. one before. So yeah. I basically had a, like a, typically with murals, I like to have a, a week break in between. Yeah. And just because of the mental and physical element of it, like it, it's a lot and I definitely like to put 110% into everything, but it just turned out that my schedule was crazy. And so I went from, I think I had did four or five back to back and big projects as well. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I'd just come off another big, big like- How long does it take you to complete one, like roughly? So the doors that you, the roller doors that you were talking about, they were like, that was like a week and a half. And then um, That's pretty the quick. Scarface one that I'd done, that was, uh, I did through a four, I think four days, four long days or three long days in it. Um, so my days like are generally- Like 16 hours? Yeah, like 14, 12, 13, 14 oh, hours. Gosh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and just because of the momentum that I get, like mm. with, it's not because like oh I need to get, hurry up and get it done. It's just like I work. You get in the flow, right? In the zone. Yeah, and I, I mm. literally like thrive off that momentum. So but then you like weather dependent, and then yes, mm. that, like, yeah. All so this. that one pushed me out a little bit. The, the weather dependent one, and um, it was minus one, I think, degrees in that week that I was outside, <laughs> freezing. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah. So. I've I've seen um, you you did one on. Swanson Street or Collins Street, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and it's on the side of a building. What is it like? Four stories high? It looked like that, at least in the video. Is that the Terminator one? Yes. Yeah, that was probably. I think that was eleven stories high. Eleven stories. But it was high. at the top of the eleven stories yes. and down, so it was yes. probably. Mm-hmm. I think it was like thirteen or fourteen meters. I think high. Yeah. Um, whatever wide but it's at the top of like 11 stories so what is uh really interesting and and also fascinating as well is that uh, you're kind of working off like you know a very very small yeah. version of that and um i want i want to hear it from you as well like you talked about transitioning from you know traditional painting to murals i'm guessing the transition is because it's a whole different game yeah. in you know, scaling a it's small terrifying. picture. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. What's that world of painting murals? Like? I remember I, I kept getting asked by people that, oh, do you paint on like people's walls? And I was like, no, like, no way. I don't know how to do that. And there's nowhere to go to, you know, get advice or yeah, yeah. courses. So I think I said no to for, for a year or even longer. I was just like, no, no, no. Like, I'm just, and it wasn't even like I was scared, but I was like, I, 
I didn't envis- envision that, like, envisage that for me. Like it wasn't, it wasn't as if I'd ever been like, I want to be a mural artist. Right. Um, so when I actually took the steps to, to just take it on, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm but you were still with, like, curious about that, Still right? curious, yeah. Um, but I like, was making mistakes as I was painting people's walls. But when I realized, like, when I did it, I <laughs> it was like, like a Picasso. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, this it was is, meant to this be realistic. Like, this and this Especially like, because you are yeah. painting um, portraits yes. a lot of the time. Yes. Which, by the way, it's like one of those things that if you, sorry, fuck it up. Yeah. You fuck it, you up, fuck big it up big time. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it starts to look like someone, they're like, eh, no, exactly. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that nose is not in the right Exactly place. right, yeah. yeah. I say that, like, with portraits, you have to be, like, to the millimeter, which is, like, you have to be 100%. so precise yeah. with them. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, I, like me, I was curious to see if it was something that I could do, and I, I, I took it on, and then I realized it was basically applying the same principles, mm. just on a bit of a larger scale, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Where it is hard is like the logistics and how everything goes wrong and, and getting like your like your foundations and your your business practices in place so it runs smoothly because everything run, goes wrong on murals. There's, really? there's weather, there's, oh, right, yeah. you forget this, there's this. It mm. just, I would say like- oh, So you also one, forget things, not, not just us. You also forget <laughs> Oh that. my God, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> and it'll be like that one annoying thing that you can't get like anything else done mm, if yeah, you don't yeah. have I'm just that. Yeah, I'm looking at all you guys. Yeah, yeah we, feel, we feel that pain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To, 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 to help with that, like I actually built a checklist that I check every time I go. Oh, good. I still That's forget clever. shit. Yeah. So, oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well then, we're not too bad then. <laughs> yeah, oh, I forgot the checklist. <laughs> yeah. That time. So, yeah, so the transition was like terrifying. And mm. also, like, there's so many variables. Like, I had to get all my licenses for all the machinery. And, right. You know, you've got people thinking. Oh, right. Yeah. At the time, I had my old my grandma saying, oh, that, like, let the boys do those jobs. Like, you know. All right. She's like, Fuck out. Um, so you you were also fighting with a bit of an internal oh, like that, yeah. self doubt do. and I still do yeah. really yeah definitely after so many murals still yeah because I feel like seeing something at scale like how does it feel to you know look at your work stand at that scale and stand back and be like wow I just did that yeah I feel like I probably yeah it's unreal like when you, when you're in that moment you don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. And even when I finish it, I'm like, oh, that's sick. I did that. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. And then so maybe fitting. I'll have like some moments of reflection, but it's still something that's so mm. normal to me now that when mm. people react and like, whoa, I'm like, oh, that's a bit weird. Like I just paint, you know, like it's not, yeah. it's something that I do every day. So yeah, um, yeah it's pretty cool though. Cause I think it's so important to have those moments where you stand back and you're like, or, and to reflect on like where you've come from or where yeah. you are now. Do you go back to the sides and... It sounds like a serial killer. Do you go back to, <laughs> you go back to your sides <laughs> if you've got crimes? Do you go back just to, have a look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to look at it and be like, oh, that's cool. You know? mm. or, you just, or you just kind of just Or I just look at let it photos. Happen. I, I'm, pretty, like, I'm pretty good at, that's why I love documenting, like mm. taking videos yeah. and photos and I always look back over them. And I'm like, whoa, like that's yeah. cool. Even just comparing, you know, how I would have done something a year ago is so different to how I do something now. Yeah. So I, even just to like, reflect and compare and just know that there is you keep growth. evolving I guess. exactly yeah. yeah and then i know that i'm like nowhere near where i want to be and then i'll never reach that that point like i know it'll just always be more and more and more uh that's yeah. the thing with creating and visual like we are designers Ali and i right yeah and you always look at your work and you're like yep yeah, i'm pretty happy for this to go out in the world and then you look at somebody else's work yeah. and you're like uh, can I take that back? <laughs> I'm I just gonna yeah. fix something up. Can you hit the return just, button? <laughs> just quickly, yeah. 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 Just when you think you've done something amazing, yeah. Um, that's when the self doubt cripples in, yeah. Um, and and it's you know it's this thing where you kind of need to, yeah, like let go, right? Because mm-hmm. it's, I guess it's never gonna be, yeah. You're never gonna be happy and no. fully satisfied with the work, exactly. unfortunately. No, I, I, yeah, I, I think, and if you come to terms with that, and the fact that like. I feel like there's always going to be someone better or doing better. And like, if you just stop, like I'm pretty critical of myself, but I also know that like there is millions of artists out there that are better than me. And I don't like consider myself to be the best. So I'm okay. When people are like, oh, that's not good. I'm like, yeah, no. Do you get much hate? Yeah. 
Really? Oh, oh really? I'd laugh. Like, I think it's funny. Like, like comments or DMs or just yeah. like random person. Comments, DMs. Like you, you like painting and someone is like, that shit. And you're like, okay, oh. whatever. Probably, oh, like on the spot you have your so. no in in public it's more like oh what's your real job or like what do you do for a living really like or is this just your hobby or and, and so a, this is while you paint in people's stuff actually no to i do talk. get people yell out stuff right now that i, think about. I can't remember <laughs> what kind of not stuff not like, like that <laughs> shit like oh you missed just bought or like oh that doesn't look very good oh, like, right, oh really? that's not finished or yeah like, well everyone everyone's oh, everyone's, everyone's, got an everyone's an art critic by yeah. the way, yeah. everyone is an artist. Do you think they're being serious or they're just like making fun of both, all of it? Yeah. Both. But I generally just like, you know, I've had I've had some like milkman just giving it to me. And so he came back the next day and then he was asking me about like how much I charge. And then I told him, so I don't you usually, can't afford me. And he was just like, <laughs> oh, oh, but like you don't get all of that or like you have to pay like this, this, this. That was, was like, a frustrated yeah. artist there. I tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he was he was just like <laughs> inside and i was just sort of giggling because i wasn't going to say anything but he kept going 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 and i was like okay so i'll just like mess with people in other ways yeah, like, yeah. i'll never get angry or anything um I but, yeah I, I see why um there is a bit of a transition now because i feel like you're you're right like there's so many variables mm. to it that you know if you are at your studio you can control a, a, a lot more of your yeah. surroundings right yeah um like take us now back to you know the studio right and like uh like where do you start like what's your path as an artist as well and kind of your self-discovery journey of realizing actually you know i'm really good at this how far back do we want to go <laughs> i mean we go all the time in the world i guess <laughs> yeah, going on, so I'm, I'm, I'm you, you, you have some time there. Jeez, you know, there's a guzzle over there yeah this, this guy oh is, it's hard to keep up with him <laughs> i usually go for the straight stuff but because we're in front of the camera so i just gotta Okay, mm. yeah. You know? Chill. Taste my seal. What do you mean <laughs> about the spice amount though? It's good, I like it. So usually yeah. this is um, salt, chili, and usually dry lime. And we put this thing on in on yeah, everything in Mexico. Oh, I like love that. fruits. I mean you've been to Mexico, yeah, yeah, you yeah. come across those little yeah. stores. Everything tastes so much better. <laughs> yeah. Now I know why. Yeah. Are you gonna get me some of this? Yeah. Um, um yeah, but yeah, no it's a question. So look, I mean, this happens a lot. So. We'll give a little <laughs> rundown. I was drawing and doing anything hands on from two or three years old. Okay. So I, you know, some could say, oh, my journey started consistently when I was eighteen, um, and that's you know, I'm nearly thirty, so that's my twelve year journey there. But I think tapping into the creative side of your brain at, at a young age is so important. Mm. So. Mm. It was, I was very much nurtured and encouraged to create and be hands-on. And I think it was evident that that was really one of the only things that I could focus on for long periods of time. Interesting. So, and still, and trust me, like I look like I have my shit together, but really, <laughs> really the only thing I like. So you're happy when you're creating like painting? Or just like I can focus, you know, you're like focus. I okay. can okay. focus more and like, I can get into a flow state and I've struggled sometimes still be, to get there it can be easy i can't imagine someone standing behind me while i'm doing the work my work you know, yeah, my job yeah. and then mm. you get that every mm. day i would say yeah mm. if i'm on external yeah yeah mm. and then are you are you okay with that like you you just carry on like this why what do you do in that case um so, like i used to not say anything and now i'll just because people really don't need to be up and close they can appreciate art from further back so yeah. if they're in my eye like in my eye line like and i can see them and i can feel them sometimes i'll just be like hey can you just give me a bit of space like please oh, right they get, or they can see me getting agitated i'll be like oh i have a time lapse on can you please get out kind of thing so um <laughs> even if it's not true but i think i'm good yeah, I don't, yeah even i think i've gotten used to like being around the fact that if you are working in a public space like it's only natural yeah. for people to get up in your grill and um so I'm pretty patient. Like I know because I've worked mm. with other artists and like, oh, you're way too patient. I'm like, okay, that'll probably, <laughs> that'll get shorter and shorter as I, yeah. as I go. But, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, no. Um, so, so for it, you, it was more of a journey of, of yeah. like focusing in. Yeah, so I think it, like I found myself like it was what I was doing. Like I um, started um, watercolor painting when I was nine. And then I sort of went through a bit of a period in my teenage years where I was very much like hanging out with the wrong people and distracted and then i sort of found art again um and it really it didn't save me but i feel like having that there was like an outlet for me and um 
if it wasn't for my family encouraging me to do so, I probably would have like, it would have been forgotten, I would have left it behind. However, um, I didn't become like really obsessed with it until I was about 18, 19, and it's been a complete and utter obsession since then. What, but, what was that trigger? Um, I don't know, actually. I think like mindset and the fact that, like, not that I was forced into pursuing it, but because I went to uni and I was like, oh, I don't really love studying art. Like, let's see if I yeah. can change that narrative for myself mm. and do it on my own and like sort of mm. become obsessed and figure it out as I go mm. in the mm. studio. So as in terms of studio, like I was working in my parents' spare room, I was working in the middle of the kitchen and I just switch off like nothing, you know, there's the a real family hustle. around. Yeah. So wow. I was in the middle of the kitchen, I was in the spare room, I was had art supplies, you know, tucked in every room and I had no organisation or no, um, I guess it was just a logistical nightmare of course, yeah. for 10 years and I only just got a studio space um, oh, wow. a year and a half ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, right? Like it, it sounded like, you know, at some point uh, something clicked in your head and you're like, yep, this is what I want to do yeah. and I want to take it seriously as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, which, you know, it's really important as an artist because I'm kind of talking like I know, you know, what it, what it feels like. But I, even I think as a no, designer and creative, it's, it's really similar. It is similar. Like yeah. it, it is very easy to uh, blur that line between this is fun yeah. and it's business. This is yes. business. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, um, and, and yeah, also saw, what people interpret it as well. Like it's what we receive. You, you and I, you yeah. and I had talked about <clears throat> back home how when we said we wanted to do study design, like my parents were fully supportive of that, right? Yeah, mm. they're like, yeah, you want to do design, do it, whatever. But then we have other family members that will be like, that's not a real job. Yeah, you know, people like, don't see it like a serious are you, job. What are you going to do yeah. for a no, living? Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. So and that yeah. was that was design. That's like using computers. Yeah. you know, like. So now imagine art, mm -hmm. art. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. painting and all that stuff. It's Even just like, more so, yeah. 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 And it's just like, you gotta do something with your life, right? And then this yeah. is what I wanna do. And it's just hard to really prove that. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like as a designer, I just kept pushing just to prove a point to people yeah. that, that you can do this for yeah. a living. It's funny you say that. And then you like, become good at it. That you know? is your drive, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's crazy. It sounds yeah, yeah, yeah. like, and you, you turn something that's like, you know, other people will be like, get, let you get let it get you down yeah. whereas you flip it and you're like you know what i'll use that as a fuel so it's, it's, it's yeah. so right like i'm lucky that i had that support yeah but in saying that i still had you know all the doubters as well and i was like let's just give it a shot i've been told nothing but you know it's starving artists you may as well try it, right mm. yeah. you got to lose and, um, uh, oh, I was gonna say, were your parents? No, you go first. No, you, no, you hang on. Really no, you hang on. <laughs> um, were your parents supportive because you grew up in a, a, a artistic household, or was just they? Sorry, I was would just support with my mic. There, oh, guys. that does happen a lot. <laughs> I was like, that's a foreign object. There. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Oh, uh, that were, were your parents supportive uh, because they were gonna do that anyway, whichever career you you know wanted to, or that you grew up in a artistic household? I think. They saw something that I didn't. I just, right. on that journey, like, I just thought that everyone could paint and everyone could draw, yeah. that I just enjoyed it more than other people. I, right. I really thought, and, and even still, like, I, I look at other artists and I'm like, whoa, I can't do that. Like, I was sat down mm. with someone yesterday and I watched his drawings. And I'm like, I can't draw. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I can't draw. Like, I, I can't draw like that. Like, I can't just, from my head, and he was like, sketching i was like oh, oh just like so, i don't know it. yeah Where, like, whereas you have a reference i guess yeah and yeah. that's the thing like i've trained mm. myself like to, to yeah. sort of even have right i'm creative but not you know there's a creative genius and i'm like somewhere like down here <laughs> is, is that is that a thing yeah like, definitely yeah I right think, yeah. some okay. people just see things like and can in their mind can like translate you know without any inspiration without some right. people just yeah. i feel like sometimes that, people are so mm. creative that they can't see the business side of that. Oh no no no! Like it, it destroys it. them. They, 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 so, they were such. A they love doing it, and they yeah. just do it. It's like I just do it for the love of the art. Yeah. You you Whereas actually <laughs> I, I heard um interview where you say uh I'm paraphrasing big time here by the way. Yeah, yeah no, that's okay. I hold you to it. <laughs> but, uh, but it's something it's something about that like you know you basically uh finding that balance between business and and art. Mm. And I think it was a um, commercial for uh, MIOB. Okay. Yeah. And and then and then you said something about that. Yeah, it's like finding that balance. Yeah. Uh, and seeing this as a business, it's a real business, yeah, you know. Is, and then yeah. once you take that 
seriously, like then you can kind of be more, you know, you can live from it essentially. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And well, that's the thing. Like it wasn't a, it wasn't a conscious decision, yeah. but I think knowing that, you know, knowing what my limitations are, knowing there's always room for growth too. So I'm not like capping my, my abilities yeah. or my capabilities, sorry. Yeah. But, um, you know, I can either just, just work at my craft or I can at least put a bit of energy into the business side and yeah. at least have a business that survives and runs and I can make a living out of and I don't have to worry because in turn, if I'm not worrying, I then can create more freely without yeah. being like repressed. Like, and, and I think that's, there's a happy medium. Yeah. Okay. In saying that too, often I'm doing a lot of business and don't yeah. have a lot of time to create. So. And did you? Mm. No, it's my turn. Man. Shut up. <laughs> it's my turn. So many questions. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's like calm down. Boy. Calm down. Go, go, go. Get another seven marks. We're gonna do it for a while. Okay? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, well, I'm done with mine. So, um, speaking of, hurry up. <clears throat> no, no, please. Um, I don't even know what's the time. Like, how are we doing here? Are we good? Still going? Crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, we're good. Thanks, man. The uh, from on your business, so you not just doing murals and not just doing you know painting. So now you digital, right? Yeah. Mm. Which is another ramification and another mm. stream of revenue. Like when and how did you decide that this is the way to go? Specifically talking about NFTs and mm. blockchain. Yeah. So it would have been the start of 2021 that I saw it, you know, come about, and I think. You know, not that I'd gotten to a stage where I was comfortable, but I always like challenging myself and coming, mm. you know, and, and throwing something, a spanner in the works. And mm. also mm. being one of like the first adopters because I feel like I know what it's like to be in like a daunting position and not to do something because you don't know where it's going to go or what path yeah. or if it's going to work, especially with little mm. question marks around the Web3 space. and. Mm. And through my journey, I've realized that a lot of it is quite lonely and that a lot of artists don't do things because they don't know if it's going to work or there's yeah. fear involved. I feel like so, every successful artist has that really sad story attached to them, you know, yeah. like all these Van Goghs and, yeah. you know, and everyone's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lonely, very traumatic lives. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like they were never happy, mm. yeah. never known until they were yeah. dead. You know? Yeah. yeah. So that's not the case with you, but yeah. You know. And I want to change that landscape yeah. for artists. I don't want it to be a lonely journey. So mm. I think. It was exciting for me because I was like, oh, you know, this is a chance for me to put out my own collection without a brief, without me having to tick a million boxes yeah. and just to see how it goes and see how it's received. Also an opportunity to build a community, but most importantly, an opportunity to show artists that you can diversify your business. You don't have to just be a canvas artist or a mural artist. Like you can, you can dive into the digital space, even not know, like I'm not good with tech. I had to teach myself how to use an iPad. I still like struggle. I don't know how to use my freaking printer. Like it's like, sorry. Oh, that's because nobody uses printers anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't know how to now. use a fax machine. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> did you ever use a fax machine? No, I never. I did. No, I've never. never. I did. Hey, that I'm, wait, I'm, I'm 34. Uh, I'm 34. Uh, I'm not that old. Come on. Yeah, like literally, if you ask me how, how to send a fax, I have no, no idea. Like, how would... crazy is a fax machine? That like you yeah. copy, like, yeah. You copy something and then it goes through the little lines and it comes out the other end. It is cool. It is cool. It's cool technology. That. Even there, even today, I guess. But thinking say, about it, yeah. yeah. You no, know, like say honestly, facts. that that wigs me out and that impresses me more than like any of as that. A, as, a, <laughs> as, a, as a designer back in the day, I remember this. Um, it's probably maybe two thousand and six. The yeah, start of uni, and I can't remember around that time and. Um, I was doing this pro bono work, design business cards mm -hmm. and you know a little bit of a logo and stuff. And somebody included a fax number in two thousand and six. Right. And I was like, so last was time I thing. used this was you know, like probably like ten years ago. Yeah. And I have that very vivid memory because I said to them, Should we just take out the fax? I don't think I anyone don't think even uses gonna, Yeah. And they were like, Yeah, actually I haven't received a fax in like years. Yeah. And like so that's gone. I was like Huh, you know? Yeah. It was yeah. just a traditional yeah. way to do things. It was just a way to do yeah. things Rich and keep, you know, you need yeah. to, uh, like, now all you need to do is include your Instagram handle yeah. or your yeah. Twitter handle. Or your website, Discord. Discord. Your website. Yeah, Discord. Discord. Discord as well. Oh, yeah, brand. Yeah. 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 Keep it on brand, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and that's it. Like, that's the way of people to reach out yeah. to you. Like, you don't, need, you don't need to include, like, Daniel, what would that company, uh, add, uh, you know, yeah, phone yeah, number, yeah. you know, like, it's just. Yeah. 
or a link tree. Just one channel. On oh, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Link yeah, tree. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, link tree. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, how oh, they yeah. started? Do you know how they started? No. They were. Um, <laughs> this is this is what I remember. Um, they were. Like, where are we going with? Yeah, this? yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah I'm like, all right. They, they were an agency. They were an agency, and they have all. They saw these pain points for the clients, the customers oh, yeah. about, yeah. you know, call to actions and linking out. Yeah. And Having then, a million different platforms and not having. And, yeah. yeah, and then these guys, as as a service providers of the clients, they were like. This is a massive pain point that okay. uh, the founder were like, we need to do, do something about this. And then you just hustle on the side and then link tree. And if it's not true, maybe they can come here and tell us. <laughs> That's the right story. But they, they but did they, solve, they, a, they big solve, they solve yeah. a massive issue. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I think they were, if not the first ones, they were like the more prominent ones. You know? mm. And yeah. Do you so, use it, Daniel? Linktree. Link yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and so talking about technology, right? Like, um, you you say you can't use a printer, but like, <laughs> sure, I sure. Will, I, will, I will persist, but yeah. I mean, but sure, surely you like, you know, like, are you managing your socials yourself, or are you getting like people to help you? Like, because um, you like always putting out. So we've stuff. given her a title. I've given Alessandra an operations manager. So I have oh, an OEM. Um, okay. Uh, was she she sent through your profile yes, photos? That's yeah, that's yes, it. yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So. Um, Alessandra manages my LinkedIn, my Facebook, my TikTok, right, um, and my other Instagram. And we sort of we both share my Instagram, but I come across like the DMs and everything. But uh, yeah, I do have help with that. So because yeah, like, it's a lot to be across. It, it is. Like, even it is, this yeah. week, I've had a crazy week and just really busy, and I ha I'm so behind on like all my DMs because I do reply to everything, and I'm behind on like all of my DMs across. So I'll sit down on the weekend and. Uh, yeah. you're pretty active on on socials and yeah. like i think it's interesting that um you know as an artist you know you you get those platforms to yeah. you know promote what you do kind of similar like uh in, in the same fashion i think um blockchain has allowed an opportunity for artists to like distribute the work yeah. get it out there to the masses exactly and you know adding that layer of you know, uh, fidelity as well to the work, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah. But like, you know, from not knowing how to use a printer to launching your own <laughs> NFT project, like, I <laughs> mean, I'm trying the, to put two and two together, like, yeah. you know. Yeah. From not knowing how to use a printer. Well, and that's back to what you said, like, that's the reason why I wanted to just show artists. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't need to know, you don't need to be an expert mm. in something before you start. Like, where do you start? Like. No, you know, Michael Schumacher, why did Michael Schumacher, Michael Schumacher didn't know how to drive an F1 car. He, yeah. like, why do people think that- His son doesn't know how to drive an F1 start, car. like, sharing their journey, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired. Brutal. That was brutal. <laughs> I mean, luckily, this guy is not going no to watch yeah, this. I, I, can't, I can't picture him just watching it like, what did he just say? Like, <laughs> machine guns, don't just maybe put in a wow. machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a good sound effect. So, um, we'll blur that. Blur that one out. No, nah, keep it. I'll own it. Do you know what? Yeah. Like, you, you, yeah, but he, why do people need, yeah. like, they think that they need to be an expert before they even start documenting the journey. And I was like, mm. I look back at my podcast and I'm like, oh. At the ones that when I first started talking about the Web3 space, I'm like, fire out, I had no idea what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, right. But I'm not ashamed of that because that shows where you are now. If you mm, don't know where you were then, journey. like, it's a journey. So mm. that, that that's what really, I guess, it was like, this is uncomfortable. I love being uncomfortable. Um, right. And, you know, comfort is a killer of a lot of things. Like, you get complacent and comf mm. comfortable, that's where you... I, I feel like your growth like plat plateaus or go take um, some risk here and there yeah yeah so i think knowing that i especially wasn't good with tech i was like you know what mm. bring it on and I'm, i just want to show other artists like you can do it you can do it all yes you need a team mm. yes you need to know when it's time to to build that yeah. team um but do you, yeah. do you want do you want to talk about Oh, yeah. yeah. What's this one? I was going to say Thank that. You. Was wow, so that was amazing. Nice. I know Is that you don't eat. Egg? No, that's cheese. Oh. <laughs> I, you know what? It I did like think Friday, the same right? thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. Like a Friday. No, but even better. That is exactly that's what I'm going to be eating. I know, I know. So this is not for you. But it looks um, so good. It's can, halloumi, isn't you can, it? You can have the leaves. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. so, <laughs> so healthy. And, yeah, and this is a fried um, jalapeno. The, um, do you want to talk about your 
Well, food is coming, so I don't know how comfortable you are eating and talking. Oh, look, it's going to be messy, but I don't care. Like. <laughs> or, yeah, because we, we want to talk about your um, Thank you so much. your recent project, Thank you. which is probably going to be sold out by the time this comes out, but still will be interesting to talk about. No, there's still a, a lot up for grabs, so we... we but we, it's not like we are releasing the episode tomorrow. Oh, okay. We'll put that week. out into the universe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a bear market, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You still did it knowing that was a, mm. the sentiment out yep. there, right? Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, so we know this. You have your NFTs attached to the physical artwork. Yes. Let's see if I got it right. Yes. And then if you lose, if you don't win the raffle, you still get a printout, an AC right. printout. Yes. Yeah, but if you win, you get the actual. Yes. And it's also a date with you. Is that right? Uh, so we're gonna run. We're gonna have a Christmas party at my studio. I was joking about the date. Oh, cool. Date? Where did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said you're getting the physical. No, I said you're getting the you're getting you. the physical, and people actually get going on a date out with it. I'm happy if we get food and margarita. I'll take anyone on a date. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, hang on, I didn't know about the Christmas party. So we, uh, my studio isn't open to the public at all. Right. And I have always said that I've never had a team. So a Christmas party, I see everyone having their Christmas parties. Yeah, right. And I know we get to celebrate. And I'm like, you know, uh, we work so hard all year. Mm. And and then I'm like sort of sitting there at the end of the year watching all these big companies have a Christmas party. So I was like, Yeah. What like it's a what what's better than my community that I've like Hundred percent. That's such a great idea. Hundred percent. And so all of my NFT holders were going to throw a Christmas party at my oh. studio, which is not open oh, to the cool. public either. So I think it'll be really cool. That's to one just of the um, see utilities. people in that space. And yes, that that is one of yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I, <clears throat> as we going through some episodes here, we talk about Ali and I, Ali's background and my background as well as mm -hmm. freelancers. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we totally get that like. Everyone goes into Christmas parties, and, like, and, and you never get invited. Just like you know, hey. tears. Yeah, like, yeah. Small, small smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's it's like, true. oh, that that would be fun to be part of. You know, it's yeah. like, um, no, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, I mean, I did have one with um, my with Alessandra and the agents were still small, and we like ate my agent, and we just like went out for dinner, and then it got a bit it escalated, and I ended up at the strippers actually. So that's why we were laughing. <laughs> and I was wow. Like, Okay. Well, I'm not doing I did not that expect again. that. Like, we're gonna have one at my studio. We do not let me get in any car to the, any other. The venue. strippers are coming to the studio. Is that what you're saying? We, absolutely not. We're gonna leave me there. That's one of the utilities, <laughs> right? Oh, I sorry. love, I love that you're like um, creating that um, connection as well, because yeah. um, you know, I guess in a way the space still, you know, disconnected in the sense yeah. that if you buy an artwork, right? Um, you know, you don't you don't get to actually, you know, interact with the artist no. in any form of way. No. Whereas like you're actually kind of going back to basics, you know, yeah, like, like hey. you, you buy something from me, you yeah. still get to hang out with me and meet me and talk about the artwork. Exactly. And yeah. I, I think that's that's quite nice. I yeah. think that's quite a nice perk. And look, I've tried to do that over the years, like, you know, in the Web2 space and my traditional art. But it's hard to maintain that. You don't have that mm. like documented on the blockchain. It's not like mm. transparent. You don't know, you know, a lot of my originals, I have no idea yeah. where they've ended up. Absolutely no idea. Right. Whereas now like I've got everyone you can track them. and I can track you it. Love. And you can say thank you. Mm. And you can mm. literally give back and be like, hey, I'm well, throwing this party because you're a legend that believed in my yeah. vision. Wow. Come and like that's hanging out. Or oh yep, yeah, one of my holders who just literally bought a unit, um, luminary. His daughter's ten, and she's an amazing artist. And he's like, "Do you think we can come and see your studio?" I'm like, "Yes." Wow. You're, you're, like, so he's coming on Saturday. So I'm like, "I will, That's I will cool. come." And like, if I inspire one young person to, you know, she's like meeting her yeah. hero, basically. <laughs> I, that's like become my purpose. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and I just think it's a, it's so much more personal. I know a lot of artists like don't mm. want to do that, and that's okay too. But I mm. like that's I feel like that has become my purpose is like being at the forefront and being like, what do you like? What what can I do for you as well? Like, you supported me. What can I do? You've yeah. you've got some photos with like, man, like you know, these amazing people, right? Steve Aoki, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, the, Rock. the Rock, and you take photos with them as well. It's like it seems like you also connect with them in a personal level. Do yeah. you meet them before you paint or it usually happens after? I met Arnold before I painted him um, and went to his house. And the I think the reception- Where, Whereabouts? 
um, I went to his house. I painted a piece and it to was his for house. his charity and it was on display at his house. And oh. We had a party at his house. And Not at the gym. Him. No. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much are you doing? Really? <laughs> way more than him. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you were just talking about how you've been to the gym this morning and uh, you're not even sore. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm sore. I'm sore, <laughs> I'm sore from yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's. Um, what was I saying? So I met. Yeah, I met. I mm. met um, Arnold, and seeing his appreciation and yeah. the way that he received that work, and he. It's like he almost knew because I painted, a, it was a black and white reference and I turned it into colour by eye live. And he like, it's like it took him back when he saw that photo. He was Amazing. like, whoa. Yeah. Um, straight away, he's like, can I buy this? Like, yeah, wow. Oh, really? really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I guess so like. So I think, yeah, that. that what did you say? Did you buy it? No, the guy, the guy was giving it away. He's like, sorry, we're giving it to me and give away. I'm like, you just said no to no. <laughs> <laughs> the size of his face? Like, no, you can't have your own face. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, because you paint in a portrait as well. And so I imagine uh, knowing the person you're painting it for, you know, adds to the experience yeah. while you're doing it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So generally before, even if I haven't met someone, I'll do a lot of background research into like their, their story. Oh, and wow. Their, like their key quotes that have like, you know, perhaps put them on the map or their key moments in their journey. Um, Cause I like to understand that. And I like to sort of communicate that through storytelling in, in portraiture as well. Mm. So wow. that's cool. best, the best possible outcome is to meet them and know them. And, and mm. I feel like you can see that when I first painted the rock, hadn't met him. And then I went on to paint him again and it was better. And then I went on to paint this mural after I'd met him and communicated with him. And mm. he knew, we sort of like, I guess, created a story around that piece. And yeah, it was right. like one of the best murals I'd done, like wow. technically I'd say. And I was just like, it's so interesting that that, that sort of plays a part. That, Which I know a lot yeah. of other people would see, but I, I can see that and I understand that. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm. That's cool. Are you, um, uh also like going back a little bit to like meeting your heroes and everything like you know you're saying um as an artist you're always looking up uh, but surely there's a lot of artists out there that are looking at your work and going man i wish i could paint like that you know like do you do you reflect on your work and and stop to think you know i've done all of this like this is where i am and kind of appreciate your journey yeah i think yeah no i definitely do i think um not so much on the technical side. I think it's more on the, like, they say I get messages from artists saying they were in, you know, a job where they're really unhappy and because they saw what I've been able to do with my art and how it's extended, you know, my skill um, and how yeah. I've, like, does it, like, it's multi-dimensional it's not just one path yeah they've been like i can do this and they quit their job and they're now happier than they've ever that been that must be so, so amazing yeah, that's yeah a, so that's yeah, more hard. what yeah. i guess mm. um triggers me mm. and is like it really motivates me and it's getting those messages mm. so because on a skill level I, I mean i look at other artists and i'm like holy moly like thank you um i was like i like that's wild mm. like you the mm. process that you've gone through whereas i feel like i kind of not cheap but like a lot of my work is reference based and right yeah. and um and i know how much it takes to come up with a concept and mm. trial and error and, and failing and failing and failing and failing mm. um but yeah it, i think that from from more of like a mm a huge life shift standpoint mm. and I, I mean if I do get you know messages and comments like that to me like, I want to paint like that I'm like just put in the hours <laughs> just do it yeah just put in the hours just, just do the work just because yeah. I definitely wasn't born like that you know I, yeah I, I wasn't born painting like I do now and is there um yeah. That's, there's a lot of food here for you there's to try, lot, except for that. There's a lot of and food. That. So is, before, <laughs> um, before we wrap it up, is there anything else you want to share with us or whoever's watching uh, about the field of projects and the Christmas money that only a few, Sounds are only a few <laughs> lucky people will get yeah, to go? Not including yeah. strippers. So. <laughs> well, I think, um, no, I think it's cool that like I'm here and the fact that you the reason that we connected is through like this web three space mm, and yeah i think that's a perfect example of like us just sitting here having a drink um you know you, you think about back in the day if you were to tell our grandparents now that we're sitting here with like strangers over yeah, yeah right i just Very think true. it's such a beautiful thing and yeah. um let this be like a reminder that 
anything, everything's like reachable and like if you yeah. just mm. open yourself up to like those opportunities because who knows where we might work together in the future. So, mm. um, for yeah, so I was just, I think, I think <laughs> I that's really cool. I love um, it. And, but yeah, obviously, um, Luminary is about that. It's relevant yeah. to what I just said too. Is It's about like no matter how big the scale, no matter how what path you're on what, what career you're in you can literally make a difference and um, achieve greatness in any scale and any mm. walk of life so and that's what that is that collection is about and that it just reminds you like just sitting here and just like enjoying your friday afternoon mm. um two margaritas in. making an impact and even mm. if you make an impact on two people from um, sitting down and having a chat then i feel like that's yeah great. it's all it's worth it amazing so thank wow you guys. amazing Appreciate powerful it. thank you Yep. Well, thanks so much. Oh my Anil. God, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, we got to feed, you know, there's a production <laughs> team. Whole team. I yeah. love it. That's what I eat as well. Uh, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you very much for nah, coming. Thank you guys. Um, definitely dig in. Uh, don't hold back on those marks. Hey, you know, I don't know. Your coach is similar with food. If you go home and you don't eat dinner, yeah, that's big right. That's right. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. You know, driving. No, I already put a warning on there, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, uh, nah, thank you. Adios, and see you on the next one, guys. <laughs> um, we can nice. still roll and talk, and uh, yeah. you guys still like okay. capture some of these. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool.